morning guys, or afternoon wherever you're from. Um, good luck to an old school video. Um, this is the next project that we're going to do. Uh, quite a simple little thing, but I thought it looked pretty good. It was just an image that I saw on uh, Pinterest actually. Um, but it's basically using the AAC um, block. Um, and just a seal pipe in between all the segments there. Uh, I don't know what it's going to look like in real life, but let's see. Just an old bit of pipe here. Um, approximately the length of the block. Um, not a lot of difference. It's, you know, it's just whatever you've got. Um, bloody hell, you could use a broomstick if you wanted. It's just whatever you've got hanging about, really. Um, tool wise, same old thing. We've got screwdrivers, pointed one and a flat one, just old screwdrivers, bastard file here, very very coarse file um, and then you got that little saw there, um, just another old saw there, nothing special and a hole saw, um, and it's the wrong size actually but we'll figure out as we go along, it's, the hole saw is basically just to cut uh, through the blocks, this sort of thing. Um, we've got a little grinder here um, for cutting this. Now you can use a hacksaw, um, hacksaw just to cut maybe, what I'm thinking is cut through 85% um, through of it, cut a little V and then just, um, if you cut half a dozen V's in and bend it round it's going to give the backbone the fish a bit of shape, something sort of it'll, it'll all come into play as we go along. Um, that's it, start with the old block, and as per usual, a bit of a sketch um, before we go any further. And um, again, that's just a standing knife just to keep the pencil trim. Um, use personal protective equipment, use goggles, use the uh, face mask or whatever. Um, I'll tend to put a face mask on if I'm doing dusty work, but at this moment in time I'm not overly bothered, but you guys should. Right, so just doing a big uh, sketch of a fish, so let's just see how we go. fish um, basically the blackened bits are the bits I'm going to cut away um, first off on what I'm going to do is obviously it's square so all, all I'm going to do is create a bit of a shape on the top of the fish before we start cutting it all um, but once we've got the shape on the top and bottom then we'll cut them into slices and take from there <laughs> shape top and bottom for it. So now we're just going to cut it up into segments. I don't know how it looks like from up there, but that's the rough shape of the fish. Um, I want to um, trim it back a little bit, but th this is just rough shape. You need all need 
Uh, that's the rough shaping, that's the rough cut, and um, basically what we're going to do now is just do it a few more contours and give it a bit more shape. Once we've got the shape something looking something like, then we can start thinking about how we're going to put this through it all. Um, but we'll continue on with a little bit more shape and contour now. Step closer. We've got a bit of a shape going on there now. Um, these are all pretty much okay. They've got curves top and bottom there. Um, it's not too bad. A um, little bit of contour and shape on there. I don't know if you can see it. But the next thing is just a bit more shape on the head, I think. going to put a dot in the middle of the eye but we'll figure that one out in a minute but um, the rough shapes are okay I don't know how much detail we want on there whether you want anybody teeth or anything I doubt it but we'll, we'll see um, that's the rough shape for now um, right I've had my cup of tea I'm back got the fish there um, the pole that we've got just for reference, I don't know what this is. This is about four, four centimetres, but whatever you got, yeah, a broomstick will bloody do, but yeah. Anyway, this is what I've got, and it's just just long enough. Um, it's really got some cuts in, but it really doesn't matter, yeah, it's just from an old project, whatever. But what I'm going to do is drill into this, put that in there, and then where, where what I'm going to do is cut it. 85% through a little bit of V and then bend it 10 degrees or something so each piece moved up 10 degrees I don't know if you get that but we'll see um, let's see how we go Through the, the bit that I want out is still in there, so I'll be tempted to do is get like a, a Phillips screwdriver, which is and then put it in and then just snap it. See how it comes off there. Alright, so that is 
Reasonably happy with the shape. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is strip it down now and get some. I've decided to use fiberglass. I'm going to put the fiberglass in the holes, put the pipe in, and put each segment on one at a time. Um, I've got a pot of dust here that I've saved from the shavings, you know, filing that. And as I fill the holes with fiberglass, I'm just going to throw the dust on and the fiberglass will hold on to it and blend it in, we'll see. Just the fiberglass putty that I'm going to use, you um, get yeah, a little tube with it, um, I don't know what this is, one and a half kilos or something. Um, basically golf ball size the size of a green pea that's how you mix the two together um, and generally within half an hour cement is dry so it's, it's the repairs on boats or cars or all like that so uh, That's a health golf ball, I'd say. So, if, you put, if you put more more than a pea in, it will just dry that a bit quicker. So I want to I give it one and a half peas there. Okay, I don't want to be waiting around for an hour, like. So I'll just mix it on a bit of cardboard. Um, be careful that you don't cut through into it like but um, afterwards we're just going to throw it away. 